Hi everybody, it's Wednesday again. <clears throat> so I'm here with Wine, Wit, and Wisdom. Um, first, I have to tell you guys, um, I had one topic in mind today, and then um, after some nonsense, <laughs> it, it's, it's turned into three different things that I wanna talk about. Um, and this was not one of them, but I forgot. Um, you know, I, we took down our, our Christmas decorations and um, we redid above our cabinets in the kitchen. And I was sitting there thinking like, oh, my wine went wisdom, how clever, I'm so clever, blah, blah, blah. I'm wondering if my, my kitchen was talking to me subliminally because look what was up there and then I decided it doesn't belong up there anymore it's gonna come up here behind me by that little smiley face guy look <laughs> I know it's backwards and I don't feel like doing the little magic wand thing to re to turn it um, backwards or reading right but as you'll see wine wit and wisdom now if it said served weekly that would be even better for our little segment here um, but just the fact that I had this thing the entire time in my kitchen tells me that this was this was meant to be. So I'm gonna put it back up here where, where it belongs with my little, can you see it up there? Yeah, you can see it. Um, so anyway, that wasn't what I was gonna talk about, but I was like, oh, look, my sign, I have a sign. So I'm, I'm fancy now. <laughs> um, but what I was going to talk about is, um, I don't know if it has to do with the new year or what. Um, oh, crap. See? Squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Let's first talk about the wine. That is the first part of this whole thing is wine, wit, and wisdom. Um, so this is the red blend from California that was recommended by... A random customer shopping in the wine section at Trader Joe's. Um, I opened it or I poured it a little bit earlier just to kind of let it air out. So I'll give it a little whirl here. I think this one was the one that was like three ninety nine. I want to say. Um, it's a little bitter to me. Maybe it would be better with food. I mean, for three ninety nine, I mean, this one is eh. Like, would I buy it again? Probably not. Um, the year of this one was twenty sixteen, so I don't know if if that made a difference or not. Cause that guy was stocking up like it was, you know, gold or something. So, um, again, I'd rather pay the dollar more and get the Burlwood. So far for me, that's the win for the price point. Um, I'm on a mission to, to find something in that price point that I like as well. Um, but for me, this one's kind of eh. So um, I would bring the bottle in and show you the bottle, but I just know it was $3.99 red blend from um, Trader Joe's. And I personally wouldn't recommend it. It's just, it's okay. Nothing, nothing right home about, but I will drink it. <laughs> So what <clears throat> my original topic was um, going to be about purging. I don't know what gets into me at times. Um, you know I've rearranged this office a million times. I've been trying to um, recycle stuff. Um, I had uh, the Vietnam veterans come by yesterday and pick up piles and piles of donations. Um, I threw out, broke apart a, um, a TV entertainment thing that was not in great shape and I didn't want to keep it. Um, so tore that apart. That's sitting in my ready to go out in the trash tomorrow. Um, I decided to go through my big file cabinet downstairs and purge a bunch of old paperwork. Um, I've got one drawer left. Of the, I think it's four, four or five. I don't know. It's one of those tall ones. Um, but I'm down to one drawer left on that. And um, I've been trying to get a hold of 
or I did get a hold of Alex. I texted him and said, hey, um, what about this? Can I sell this? I'll give you the money if I sell it. Blah, blah, blah. No answer on that. Um, and that's one of the things <laughs> when you have adult children and it's just like, oh, you know, you get rid of something. You'll never hear the end of it. But at the same time, you can't completely purge and clean stuff up when you feel like it's not your place. Like, not physically your place, but you know what I mean? Like, it's not my place to get rid of something that isn't mine. And then if he wants it, then what? Then I'm the bad guy. We've all had those stories. I remember my dad saying that my grandma got rid of all of his baseball cards and he could have had like a gazillion dollars because he had some of these awesome old cards. I don't want to be that mom, but at the same time, I'm like, please, just tell me, come look. Can we get rid of this? How about that? You want to? If you want me to hold on to it until you have a house, I'll do that. But don't let it sit here forever with me not knowing what the heck is going on. That's all. So I'm a little like venting with the whole purging thing. And I don't know, like, do other people go through that? And I haven't even watched Hoarders. Like, I would get on and watch an episode, just one or two episodes of Hoarders, and I would, like, lose my mind over here and just, like, we got to donate. It's time to donate. Get this crap out of here. Can't take it. And with that being said, my brother is going through um, a purging kind of thing at his own house. He's getting ready to um, welcome another little baby into their family and so he's trying to organize everything and get ready and he is purging stuff and he said to me he goes I cannot believe how much better I feel when I'm getting crap out of the house and I'm like thank you baby Jesus that is what I've been trying to say if you are surrounded by clutter I know that this looks like clutter but it's at least now it's organized and I know what it is. And I still have to have my little cutesy stuff. Um, but if you have clutter around that you're not using or doesn't make you happy, and I'm not talking about that little Asian lady that says, hold every little thing and say, you know, do you bring me joy or whatever? Who's got time for that? No, you're like, did I wear this? Have I wore this? What about this? What about this? Do I need 50,000 glasses? No. Let's get it down to 10,000 glasses. See what I'm saying? Um, so, anyway, if you guys have any kind of um, purging tips, I personally have learned that I would rather donate with um, the Viet, I think it's the Vietnam Veterans, VVA.org is who I go through. Um, because after I read something on Facebook about Goodwill and how much money they make, I was kind of like, no, you're not getting my donations. Just turn around and make money. Um, so, I was a little bitter about that plus I have to go where if you go on to vva.org you can set up um, a pickup so they'll just come and get it and then you say like oh I've got you know one to four boxes or I've got four to eleven boxes or whatever their little system is so I do recommend them and I'm sure you can do your own research and find out what other organizations are um, better to give to but that was what I was going to talk about was the whole like purging thing. I know I can't possibly be the only one who goes through these um, little episodes as I like to call them <laughs> where I get on a kick where I just like, okay, it's time to clean up around here. Um, and sometimes I think that happens at the holidays because you have extra stuff. So you're trying to make room. Like I got um, a newer pair of boots. So I got rid of a pair of scuffy kind of boots. So it's like, I don't need two pair of boots that are practically identical, that kind of stuff. Um, so anyway, if you're all with me and agree to that on the whole purging and it makes you feel good, give me a thumbs up to let me know that I'm on the right page here. Um, and if you have other organizations that you think are um, good to donate to, let me know. I always do um, like the, the canned good drives and when, um, <clears throat> who is it, the Girl Scouts do toiletries and stuff, but that's a little different. Um, toiletries are different because, you know, all that stuff is new stuff. I'm just talking about getting rid of what you have um, at home. So that was what I was originally going to talk about. But as usual in my chaotic little world, um, there were some menopausal moments that quite honestly just sucked. And it started yesterday. Um, I kind of thought I was through a lot of the um, 
female stuff that goes on. And I'm even on um, a schedule that's supposed to keep my little visitor from coming. Well, she hit me like a vengeance yesterday. And then I was like, you know, that makes sense. I've had headaches again and I don't normally get them anymore now that I'm not cycling. And, um, and I don't mean like this kind of cycling. <laughs> I'm sure you guys knew that, but um, anyway, um, so I was like, oh, that makes sense. And then I was cramping really bad, and I'm like, oh, I, mean, I wonder if I got the stomach bug. Like, my brain was not even working on that time anymore because it's been literally, um, it's, you know, now that I think about it, it seems like I go about nine or ten months, and then bam, out of nowhere, hits like a freaking brick wall. And it sucks because you almost forget how horrible it is. Um and from what I've heard, or at least I think this is what my mom just said. I can't really remember. But it, like if you go a whole year without having one, then you're through menopause, which would really make sense that I'm not there yet because I'm not quite 50. I have like a month, a month and three days to be exact before I'm 50. So that's young to get through it. Um, but it's a long, long road of, of nonsense. So... That being said, see how one thing just kind of leads to another in my wacky little life over here? Um, I was just like, I was just feeling yucky. My stomach was hurting. I was just like, Bleh. and I was like, you know, I've been needing to color my hair. Maybe if I do that, it'll make me feel better. So I don't have the box anymore, and that's a whole another long story that y'all are not going to get here because I'm not even going to talk about it. It's traumatic. Um, but I decided to do the, the hair color, the Chi, which is um, now with, like we have access to it with Avon. And I have to say it is darker than I thought. I was trying to match my hair color exactly, but it's darker, which isn't really horrible. But this is what I noticed. Now this, I don't have any makeup on. You know, this is just, my hair is kind of probably still a mess from, from doing the hair thing. Um, but there was not a chemical smell. So to me, that was like a big deal. Everybody's doing like all this organic stuff lately. And um, to me, like, I wish I would have kept the box. But again, long story that I'm not going to talk about. Um, but... It is an or more organic product line. There's like not as many chemicals in that one. I'm sure there's got to be some, but um, it, I don't want to say that it smelled like amazing. Like I don't, like it doesn't smell bad, but I mean, it's not like I smell like flowers or like a perfumey smell. It's more the fact that um, it didn't smell like chemicals and it didn't burn, you know, my head at all or anything like that. Like sometimes when you leave it on, cause um, I did take before pictures and I was going to post them, but it's hard to tell. Like I usually get like, like silvery streaks through just like the top part here. And then I get them, um, you know, around like the, the temple, but it doesn't really go through my whole head of hair. Um, but so it was really hard for me to get a good image. Like for me in the mirror, I could see that it was like, oh, I'm overdue. Uh, but I am one that colors my hair like maybe once a year, if that gives you an idea. And I started well after I was 40. So I've maybe been coloring my hair maybe four or five years. Um, but um, with that being said, I have, I usually get, um, you know, I, I Avon had it for a while and I loved that one. Um, and then I had to get over the counter stuff when we stopped selling it. So, um... What I noticed with this one is it had really super classy, nice packaging. And it wasn't like you had to try to rip over open foil packets and, you know, try to squeeze the stuff out of the, um, of the little pouches. It's like you get a bottle that's about this big of shampoo and conditioner. Then you get a little thing of the serum, which I haven't used it yet because it told me not to wash my hair for like, um... 24 or 48 hours to, to help keep the um make the color last longer um so I haven't used the the hair care part of it yet but just the whole packaging in general was very very well done and they gave you a cap so like it was all kind of 
you know, encased in this cap, which I guess was like, I don't know, super absorption. I don't, you know, I'm not a hairdresser. I don't pretend to be. Um, but I had never had a different brand and I've used different ones, um, that have the cap to hold it all in place. Now this is where my normal shit show comes in. So, um, because it was a spur of the moment and I really was just like, I just need something. I need to take a break, walk away, blah, blah, blah. I decided to do it. Well, I had my glasses on. Okay. I cannot see the mirror without my glasses anymore. I, can't, I mean, my eyesight is gone to hell in a handbasket, which reminds me I have to call the eye doctor and set up an appointment. I'm supposed to do that earlier. But anyway, um, I couldn't see. So, you know, you got your gloves on and you're trying to do your hair stuff. And it's like, oh, well, you don't want it in here. You know, I'm trying to get to here because this is the part that gets gray that I can see. So I'm taking my hands off with the little plastic glove thing, set it down, then trying to saturate, then trying to put my glasses on to make sure I got everything. And um, I was like, wearing so much um hair color on my body I've never seen anything like it I had it down my arms I had it on my hands I was like what in God's name so um I did use um skin so soft oil to get it off which thank goodness I had it <coughs> like on my neck I'm like what am I doing I don't understand it's not like it's dripping off of me and staining my whole body you know I'm like what I, I don't know if it was like trying to deal with like the glasses and then like my glove was hitting and there was stuff obviously on my gloves I don't know I've just never personally had so much hair stain on my physical body than I ever have in my life and it is not the product's fault that is operator error for sure then um I'm, I take my glasses off and I'm trying to wind up my hair and set it on my head to get the little plastic hat thing on my head um and it's like it was down here um and it probably should have been probably up here more and so when I took it off what did I have I had a line of brown going across my forehead and then I guess like some dripped so it was like here and into my eyebrow and I'm like this is not going as planned this is just uh, a, a, you know epic fail this is just stupid my hair better look good after all this crap and I went through like I can't even tell you how many cotton rounds and thank goodness I had, you know, a big bottle of Skin So Soft Oil because I must smell great because I have Skin So Soft Oil all over my my forehead to get the stuff off. Like I said, all over here. I had it all over my arms. I mean, I might even have some on my back. Who knows? I had a towel on, but um, anyway, it was a mess. You know, then you go and you rinse it all out and I did that in the tub and just shoved my head under the water because I was like, this will go much faster. That was not um, a big deal. That was fine. But I have to say, like, then I put it up in one of these things, which I don't know if I talked about these before. My daughter um, got me hooked on them. They're not as hard on your hair. Um, and they're not as hard as on your wrist when you decide to wear them as a bracelet. Um but anyway, so I put it up in that because I was like, okay, it's wet. I have to get back to the computer. I have stuff to do. I did. I wanted to put my shirt back on and I didn't want it to in case there was a little bit of dye. I'd already had enough of a, a mess that I was like, let's just get it up out of the way. Let's get it out of the way so it doesn't create any more of a ruckus. So I took it down right before the video and I was like, OMG. It had amazing coverage, which I don't know if you can see in this light, quite honestly, it's dark in here. Um, and I didn't turn on my backlight, but my hair feels really soft. It doesn't feel like all dried out. Um, it's not frizzy and I'm, I'm a fan. I think it's, um, I was really, I wasn't worried about it because of the brand. But I did really like the Avon one that we had in the past. Now I have to say there's not a ton of colors in the in the line. 
I'm losing hair here. Um, it's sticking to my, there it is. It's like sticking to my lips. Um, but you know what? I wonder if it's in that book. Let me see if I can find it in the book for you guys. I don't know where it would be because it's new. Body. No. I thought I'd seen it recently. As I talk to myself, don't mind me. Oh, nope. That's it. Well, oh, nope. <laughs> I keep seeing green, but that's a green goddess um, skincare stuff we're going to get. Well, poop doodly oop doop doop. Where is it? It's just very unprepared today. I'm very, you know what? It's me though, keeping it real. If I if I pretend to act like I have my act together, y'all might call the police or something. Like my friend has been kidnapped. I don't know who she is anymore. Cause it's not like her to have her act together. She is a, you know, a hot mess. Oh. Here we go. 12 shades. It is normally going to be $32 and it is on sale for $26.50. But see, there's not a ton of colors, if you ask me. But especially if you're like a light haired person, there's lots of darks. What did I go with? I went with natural dark brown 50-4N. Yep, that's what I did. So, this is the one I did. Oh, can you see it? Can you see it? Um, so, you might be able to see it better online, or I can always mail you a book if you're interested. But again, with, with Chi, you know it's a, it's a good product. I wonder if it says on here. Oh, professional formulas with aloe silk, olive oil, absolutely no parabens, 100% um, gray coverage, Vibrant color and radiant shine with staying power. And then, like I said, you get the, see the, that shampoo and conditioner and then the, the serum. And I, these are nice bottles, guys. I mean, they're, it's not like those silly little um, pouches. So, I was really, really happy with it. And it's basically like a smaller version of, of these that you can get. I don't know if you can see. I think so. But anyways, so that's, that's what's going on. Um, did I do all that? Yeah. All right. I think that's all I had on my brain this time. Um, so yeah, if you guys got any, um, organizational kind of purging tips, um, if you have a home office and you have some kind of a system that works good for you, um, please share it. And I think, I think that's it. If you don't forget, if you have any specific topics you want to talk about, um, I'm more than happy to do some research for you and figure it out. I just need, um, a little bit of time. Don't tell me Wednesday during the day to talk about this Wednesday night because you know, it's not going to happen. So, all right guys, I hope everybody enjoys the rest of their week. It's been a hard week already. It's Wednesday and it feels like it should be next Tuesday. I mean, it's been a long week. Um, so hopefully the rest of the week goes better. I think it's supposed to be cruddy outside again. Um, so stay safe if, if it ices over and all that not fun stuff that's supposed to be coming our way. Um, until then, till next Wednesday, cheers. Have a good weekend. Talk to y'all next week. Bye.